<laughs> there we go. Well, now that that's out of the way, what's going on guys? It's Camillo. So E3 is just about a month away from now, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some of my E3 predictions slash E3 wants, desires for games to be announced. Last year at E3, Nintendo really didn't show much. They didn't have a presentation. They just had their Treehouse event where they showed Breath of the Wild mostly, and while it is an amazing game, it just didn't seem like there was a lot to talk about. And they showed off a little bit more Pokemon Sun and Moon, but I am so excited for this year, and I feel that Nintendo really needs to bring out the big guns this E3 if they want to get more people on board with the Switch. So you might have guessed from that intro, I am so excited for an Animal Crossing game on Nintendo Switch. I was a big fan of New Leaf and I've been playing the series ever since it was back on the GameCube. It's been a while now. New Leaf came out four years ago and there was never an Animal Crossing game on Wii U. So I think it's time. It's the perfect console for it. It's portable. You can take it with you anywhere. You can have all those HD, those beautiful graphics that you want on it. And Animal Crossing is that kind of game where you can just get lost in for hours. So on the Switch, if you are playing in TV mode and you're just like lost in it and then you need to go somewhere, you can freaking just pick up your Switch and go. You know that the game's gonna be expanded on. With so much more processing power in Nintendo Switch, the villages are gonna be larger, there's probably gonna be an expanded inventory system. The next announcement I'm really excited for is something related to Smash Brothers. Whether it's something similar to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe where they just kind of port it over and add all the DLC, or possibly the, like a totally new Smash, even if it is just an announcement saying that they are working on a Smash Brothers for Nintendo Switch, that would be pretty awesome. I love playing Super Smash Bros on 3DS, so going to Switch would be even better. We have like the graphics comparable to the Wii U version, but on the go. This next topic is something I've made an entire video about, so if you want to go check out that video, I'll link it somewhere up here. That is basically Pokemon on Nintendo Switch, or Pokemon Stars, or whatever they're gonna call it. This is like a toss-up. I don't know if they're really gonna announce this, or if it's too soon. Yeah, I really want a Pokemon game on Nintendo Switch, whether it is just a kind of port of Sun and Moon, or it possibly could be a new game that's not part of the main series, like something like Pokemon Coliseum or Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I love those games so much. And their twist on the series was really cool because you could just snag Pokemon and not have to like go out and catch Pokemon or even a Pokemon Stadium type game. I would honestly be really surprised if Pokemon on Nintendo Switch turns out to be Diamond and Pearl remakes which I really love those games but I do feel it's too soon for that. So this next topic I really really want this. I know there's been some rumors about this and that would be a Super Nintendo classic. I never got my hands on an NES classic, and I was so bummed when they freaking discontinued that thing. Like, why Nintendo? I think it would be really cool to keep going with this classic line. If they made this SNES classic and it had 30 Super Nintendo games on it, that would be really cool. I do have a little bit more connection to the Super Nintendo games than the NES games, so I would love that. Please do that, Nintendo, and make it more available this time. Nintendo really needs to lift the veil on Virtual Console. They gave us like one week's notice before the launch of Nintendo Switch saying that they're not ready for Virtual Console yet, and it's gonna happen soon, Nintendo, so just give it to us at E3. Those are some Nintendo 64 games I really want for Virtual Console. And for Virtual Console, I would be okay with if they just started the service and they just started with, let's say, NES, SNES, possibly N64 with those coming later, but eventually I want them to release GameCube games on Virtual Console. There hasn't been GameCube on Virtual Console yet since they removed backwards compatibility with GameCube since Wii U. There hasn't been a way to play your 
GameCube games on a very recent Nintendo console. So you gotta bring that back, Nintendo. And lastly, I know they're gonna talk about Super Mario Odyssey. That's gonna be their big title for this holiday season. This is gonna be the first time we're gonna see gameplay of it. And man, I am so excited for this game. This is like the first open world Mario game. I can freaking like free roam New Donk City and go anywhere I want really and probably do any of the objectives in any order, which is gonna be really awesome. No man, I can't wait to freaking parkour up those buildings. So if you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. Smash that thumbs up button. If you are new to my channel, think about hitting that subscribe button down below. So my next video will be my favorite GameCube game. So look out for that video. I'll link it up here when that video is finished. I'm also streaming Super Mario Galaxy. If you wanna check some of that out, be sure to subscribe. I realized these past few streams, I love streaming video games and I love the community I'm starting to create with that. So I will be streaming all of Super Mario Galaxy. I'm gonna be going through the entire game, all 120 stars. So yeah, I guess that's it. I guess I will see you guys in the next video. See ya. It had a funny, happy-go-lucky feel to it, especially that opening. <laughs>